All right, game two here. Maybe he'll Q freeze mage into us just to be nice, but I doubt it. Probably gonna see like secret paladin next to arena lock. Probably arena lock could also be zoo. Zoo's a lot easier than uh, Reno, but if it's combo Reno, then um, we'll actually be fine. Just gonna keep armor smith and Nightclaw here for early game. Look to draw a weapon. Nice death spy. This is a pretty good hand. We have BJH in case it's Reno, but these mulligans are pretty hard because you don't know which deck it is. I know he likes combo lock, so it's probably just combo lock. But he could be, uh, yeah, alright, so it's combo lock. So with that combo lock, we just want to armor a lot. Um, and if we do that, we just stay out of kill range. Um, and he just fatigues. So that's the plan. You know, uh, they don't play that many threats. They have like Dr. Boom, Twilight Drake, Alex Straza, stuff like that. Um, so as long as we kill all their threats, you know, um, they can't really kill us. Uh, then we're just good to go. We have Acolytes here for some nice card draw. Jester is also really important here because again we want to armor up really high uh, to the point where they can't kill us. I've got the beast in my wow, tempo BGH. Uh, I guess to be fair he knows it's Elise so until we go off with Elise, which we probably won't because we just want to keep armoring, uh, we're not actually going to get... I think I'm going to Despite here. Even though War X clears the two, I want to set up uh, the double Acolyte ping, uh, which also gets us some nice armor. Yeah, so he's just doing that because he knows we he, we he don't play any BGH targets. Um, I guess Geddon, but Geddon's pretty easy to clear with damage. This also could be, I know he likes to play uh, Elise's combo lock list, which actually runs double BGH. Alright, that's fine. Brawl's an okay pickup. Let's just play uh, Acolyte here. Oh, we could save this and just play Belcher and wait till he has something to execute, but we have these to, like, proc and execute anyway. And if he, like, Hellfires, then, you know, we have more turns to proc. I'm just gonna armor up here. I wanna start building that armor. Double War Axe is kinda unfortunate, but, you know, we do play a lot of weapons, so we're gonna draw, you know, a lot of them sometimes. Ah, uh, he can't tap here before playing stuff. Might just see a Thorson for nine cards, pretty decent. Belcher. So he might not have Thorson, also might be, uh, waiting until he has more combo pieces in hand, because you can't just throw us in the hand without combo pieces, and you can't combo with Leroy Faces PO, since it's 11 mana. We're gonna do that. Um, he might have ooze, but that's fine. We got a lot of value out of this. Probably just gonna play Tempo Harrison. Um, I mean, if it is Reno Lock, he could play Jaraxxus, but... and that'd be bad. But it seems like standard combo lock. That's what most people are playing nowadays. Since VLPS is doing really well, that it's on the meta snapshot, etc. All right, that's fine. Peddler is fine. Just dies to War Axe. But oh wow, that was a uh, was a really fast peddler. I was actually uh, we're probably just gonna like, clear this, play Belchin armor up. The fast peddler is kind of scary though because it means actually I don't know. I was gonna say, if he's just picking that fast, that means he probably didn't get a PO, so it's probably combo lock, but it also could be that he doesn't care about PO because he's standard Reno, so we'll see what... I think he still might take PO though, because it lets you trade your imps down, so I don't know. Took Leopardum pretty fast there, just wants the extra damage. Okay, that might be PO or abusive, and he didn't get them off Peddler, so that means it's definitely combo lock. Ha! <laughs> That was pretty good value. We can just revenge here, because other than Implosion, there's not really any good targets. And hopefully we'll never be low enough where it hits for full. And then we'll just Shield Maiden develop some more threats. He's actually uh, pretty low here. You know, he, he'll probably Reno this turn. Ren Healbot? Okay. Well, that's good that he has to use the Brand that early. So this isn't actually the meta snapshot list, because he's playing Bran. Uh, but again, similar idea. Reno lock type thing. We're gonna do that, and then we're in armor. I guess we could have actually shield blocked first, doesn't really matter. Um, let's uh, lease, and then we can play into Hellfire a little bit, I guess. Here to use Demon Wrath, uh, he has Shadow Flame still, but I'm not gonna like shield slam that, obviously, or anything like that. Um, we'll shuffle the map in just in case we want to take that option. We probably won't need to, um, but we probably just want to stick with our removal. Uh, you know, there are a lot of games where you just don't want to lease and playing the monkey is a mistake, but it's nice to have them the option, you know. Alright, low thebs. Probably just want to clear. Clear. You don't want to clear this because that opens up coil, so we'll clear like that. And we can play Harrison and armor up. 
Uh, we're getting almost f full gore howl value here. Um, and the games where you're getting full gore howl value, um, you're probably winning as a general rule. Because it's just so much value. Like, we've killed, what, four things that already? Seven, six, five, and four. Like, that's, that's good value right there. One card trading for four cards. You might have Twisting Nether here. I have... Uh, it's pretty bad Reno, so I don't think you'd want a Reno here. Might have, like, Shredder Shadow Flame. Oh, I'm just playing Thorson. Not gonna play that. Um, I think we actually just double Bash here. Actually, hold on. Do we have Lethal? 11. Yeah, we just have Lethal with Bashes, right? Basically playing Phase Hunter. But yeah, we had a lot of armor there, so probably weren't losing the combo anyway. Alright, sweet. Got the, the win after the Druid 